I'm about to redo the roof wrap here because it's starting to peel. Because my car sits outside in the sunlight. I'm at mom and pop house right now using their garage. But um, I also did this the other day right here. I placed my laptop on here when I was flashing the ECU, when I was flashing a car dual fully file and it kind of scraped the roof. So I'm like, oh, screw up. And it's starting to peel away around the edges right here also. So I started peeling off the corner a little bit already. Um, shouldn't be too terrible, but let's go ahead and get this shit off and uh, put a new wrap on there. Well, maybe I should keep it red. I don't know. What should, what should I do? All right, so I just got the majority of the wrap off the roof. Um, it is, that's creepy. A freaking balloon just flew over here. Oh, I just got to put the wrap off the roof. A little bit in the center here off and we should be good to go the only thing i'm stressing about is taking off the antenna uh, it's a lot of work <laughs> but um you have to do it to get it done right so yeah so, I'm, gonna this I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hit it with some more heat make sure the surface is warm and hot and then uh the wrap will come off easier it won't leave too much like glue. It hasn't left any residue at all. So shout out to Premium Auto Styling. The wrap on them for the roof at least was pretty, pretty good. They're air bubble release also. So um, I definitely recommend them for anybody who wants a roof wrap. Vinyl 3M. All right, so about 20 minutes later, got it all off. Um, now I just have to take the antenna off here so we can get a nice smooth surface to wrap on. Uh, yeah. Well, I gotta clean it up, prep it and all that stuff, you know, alcohol, rub alcohol, get it all off. There's no glue residue on here, so I'm grateful for that because <laughs> that would be a pain in the butt to remove. But, um, we should be good to go. The screw for that underneath is a T20. I have a light here. It's gonna be pretty hard to see, but let me try. You should see it. I hope you see it. There it is. Yeah. All right. Pretty much just pop this side off, and then you're able to pull the clips down. You don't have to completely take it off. It won't ruin your headliner or nothing like that. So uh, it should be good to go. But let me get to it before the battery died on the flashlight. <laughs> um, so here's the antenna. Uh, this is the, uh, this is a um, cover that goes on over top of the antenna. It is red, so it's like a cap. Shout out to ECS tuning. But um, as you can see, there's three connectors and then the screw goes in there. I have to remove the rest of my wrap that's on here now. And then clean it up, of course. Put it back in there. That one um, connector is pretty tricky when you go and take it off. You won't be able to see it from the angle of uh, looking behind the headliner or the back of the headliner. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Ouch. All right, so this one sits behind and you kind of have to lift that little tab up and then pull it down. The other two has a white tab like that. And you pretty much push up and you push it down and you can get it down. I use a little pick tool to get it, but the two um, tab that has a white uh, clip here are easy to see but this one sits in the back you have to lift this little bottom clip up and then you're able to pull it down i spent like 10 minutes trying to pull it down thinking that it has the same clip as this one but it does not so let's say uh i feel like it's a good tip for you guys there so remember that okay yeah 
that's the one that sits over here the blue one so the green and purple are the easy one the blue one is the one you have to uh kind of stick a pick in between lift it up then you're able to pull it down Bro, stop this game too. Yeah, I'm on the one. 16. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I get it. Yo, is it still raining out there? I'm gonna take that shit too. I want back to back, bro. Back. I already swapped now back to back. Yeah. Uh, yeah.
right, people. So I'm finally done. Just wiped it down real quick. Probably not really clean yet, but let's see. No more lifts on the edges. As you can see. And no more uh, scratch. <laughs> so yeah. Should be good for a little while. But like I said, I might take this off in a few months and probably put a better um, wrap on because I don't feel like this is a really good 3M material kind. So um, yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. But yeah, I mean, it looks really nice with the uh, gunmetal carbon black and white accent, boy, black accents. Alright guys, time to get out of here. I've been in this garage all day. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell button, and stay tuned for the next video. Peace out.